Experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from seven to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape, but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. It's Alex Jones. That gun kicks as hard as it shoots. Or in Newtonian physics, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. All the major political professors, liberal, conservative, doesn't matter, from Turley to Fine, from Bruce Fine to Jonathan Turley, say we're going into ultra-fascism. And I noticed the globalists have adopted fascist names, Homeland Security, the uniforms, because they know it's worked before for them to take over. They know the public's so stupid, so dumbed down, they're just doing it. But for those of us that are informed... I mean, it is an emergency situation in this country. And I have a whole stack of articles I want to get to in the next segment about food prices. And I've been saying, you know, inflation is going up faster than people than the government's saying. They claim, oh, it surged 0.3%. I've been going to places for breakfast for years. And just in the last year, a plate of eggs, hash browns and stuff has gone up 75%. Everybody I talk to says that. And they, now they have to admit it. So we're going to be talking about that and what that means and why that's happening, folks. The hidden quantitative easing tax. That's why they're so mad at Bratt up in Virginia who just won the primary. He's an economist, an engineer, and a bunch yeah. of stuff. Is that he keeps pointing that out. 
Yeah. They go, oh, terrorist, weirdo. He, <laughs> well, he's warning you about the Weimar Republic, David. No, he, he's all about pointing out what the bankers are doing, looting this country. And, and not your uh, corner bank. That's right. They're great right. people. We're talking right. about the Federal Reserve. Yeah. That's right. The Federal Reserve, what they're able to do with that. And that's why they really don't like him. I mean, he's an economics professor. That's going to be an interesting race. Uh, his opponent is from the same small university. But, uh, you know, he's an economics professor, and that was his core thing. He said, these guys ought to be put in jail. Look at what they did. They it's counterfeiting. It's exactly. counterfeiting. Yeah. It's counterfeiting. So he understands what that is. Why is counterfeiting bad? Because it lowers the quality of the money. Yeah. Lowers the value. But they play these games with all the unemployment rates, with inflation rates and everything. Because, you know, you can, depending on how you set up your equations, what you decide that you're going but to But it's so bad, those don't even work now. Yeah, exactly. But, but, but that's the issue, just like the illegals. You lower the wages in Mexico, you don't raise the Mexicans, you lower us and then you lower them. And that's what Ross Perot explained in his debates, we should do a whole show on that, yeah. on, on, on uh, CNN. And Al Gore would act confident and laugh at him, and the media said, oh, 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 uh, Perot was destroyed in the debate, and the weak public went, he was destroyed. Even though you watch it, and I watched it live at the time, I was, you know, like in college, he just, he, Perot destroyed him. And, of course, they set up NAFTA 20 years ago, and they always like to set up the legal framework and then gradually bring it in as a fait accompli. Through that. Exactly. Just like the EU was, a, was an economic deal. Exactly. So that's why it is so amazingly scary when we see things like the NDAA, where he says the military can arrest you and hold you indefinitely without trial. Yeah, they can yeah. transport you. They don't put that stuff in and not intend to use it. Well, I mean, take Ross Perot, and we're going back to the border with Kit Daniels. You watch that. Ross Perot realized this was going to kill the country. And it wasn't that he was even a perfect guy. You know, he's part of the establishment, got government contracts and mm -hmm. stuff. I don't care. He was selling good products. But they made an issue out of that. The point was, everything he said was true. Listen, they're paid $25 an hour in Canada. Five years after we got rid of our border and trade deal with them, we were on, our, our workers were paid $18 an hour on average at the factories. And uh, it lowered them, and we went down as well. So what, what happens is they go down, we go down, and then you go to Mexico, it'll lower them and lower us. This is not a good deal for anybody but the guys that are running these companies. And listen, my issue is I'm all for free market. But this isn't free market when you set up a deal where you're dealing with a slave state like China and their workers. That will be a giant sucking sound to the bottom. You've got to demand higher pay for everybody across the board, but not with fixed prices and not with some minimum wage, but with not uh, you know, debasing your industrial base. That's where the real value comes from. Now, who was right, him or Al Gore? Yeah, well, as you said before, Al Gore and Bill Clinton went to Bilderberg and said they were going to sign on to NAFTA whatever they wanted they got put in we got nafta that's exactly what they want they want that consolidation here in north america as well as what they did in the european union and now we've got this secretive trade agreement uh, both a pacific trade partnership as well as a transatlantic trade partnership. and say this again no one's allowed to see it that's right Boy, that sounds like exactly freedom like the borders you can't see what's going on at the borders you can't see these new laws that they're putting in that are going to essentially through the back door not just trade and economic issues but i mean these are hardcore things things that are going to come after us in terms of internet freedom, where they couldn't get CISPA through multiple it times, just clicked. they're going to put it in. It just clicked. It's all happening. Yeah. They are, we say the hammer hadn't dropped, it's just dropped, but it's the old question of if a tree falls, nobody hears it, did it make a sound? Mm -hmm. Well, the tree fell, it's here. They are doing it, and people need to know, folks, it means the end of prosperity. Just like QE Unlimited means your prices are going to double, shutting down your power plants are going to bankrupt you. That's why that's important when Obama does that and then lets Mexico have all the power plants they want. It means your factories have to go there because they can't get the power. See, I mean, this is war, folks. And that's why I freak out so bad because it's like watching a bank robbery. It's like Edge of Tomorrow. I watch the robbery go on every day, worse and worse. Yeah. It's a Groundhog Day that gets worse. Yeah. And I'm just trying to get the, and instead I tune into local radio and, oh, the morning show's making fun of me. And then the night show and the, and the news is making fun of me. It's all so funny, David. It's real funny, David. Well, here's one thing, Alex. Look at what's going on with transportation. All of these service sector jobs are now going to go away in the next three to five years. Robots. The beginning, ex exactly. At the beginning of the year, they were talking about, hey, the technology for self-driving, and what they mean by that is computer-driven cars, is already here. We just need the legal framework. So what happened? About three months later, in April, you started seeing the European Union, California, all greasing the skids legally for them to put these self-driving cars on. Now, you got this big thing going on between Uber, the ride-sharing company, that's now up to $17 billion in uh, capitalization. They just had a a new round of funding where they got $1.2 billion. 
they're being fought by all these taxi drivers. They had 12,000 taxi drivers in England show up to protest Uber. What they don't understand is that when Uber, whether or not they, they beat back Uber for the next three to five years, Uber has already said, this is about making vehicles something other than privately owned hardware. We're going to make we're going to make transportation community owned. And the thing that makes our taxi drives expensive is that dude in the car with you. He's going to go away as soon as we get computer driven government. That's it. It's about cars. removing your mobility. Everything's surveilled. It's a technological technocracy, end of humanity takeover in their own words. Yes. I didn't come up with all this that just keeps coming true. And people go, how does he know this? Mm -hmm. It's all laid out. Oh, Uber's been very upfront about it. We got to, we're going to see the end of private ownership of cars. It's an anachronism as far as they're concerned. They're going to force us by both uh, positive things that they offer us. Just like I told people, they're putting the satellite tracker boxes in. Yeah. Let's go back to Kit real quick. Kit, you're going to have live reports tomorrow. You're going to follow some reports tonight. What else is it important for you to add down there at the Texas border uh, in Brownsville that you've been seeing and witnessing? Well, one thing we noticed is driving, just hugging the border, we... Uh, the border's wide open. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. It was just, and the fact that the border is this restricted from us from even going near the border, even though we're on the American side of the border, we're not allowed somehow to go to that area. Well, but, yeah, I mean, a child molester wants to do it in secret. I mean, I mean, a criminal wants to do it in secret, of course. Yeah, there's no, there's absolutely no border security whatsoever down here. None at all. And just standing out here for the past hour, I've only seen maybe a handful of Border Patrol vehicles just driving by. We're and right you're at the their border. headquarters. You're at yeah, their headquarters. Right at their headquarters. And to put it into perspective, I read uh, an article recently, and even to add to that, the fact that the mainstream media has is now starting to report on what we've been breaking in the past two weeks. And they have said that the Border Patrol, their drug seizures for the past six months, is down 34% in Texas alone. It's even double that in New Mexico. That just, because all the Border Patrol officers are too busy changing diapers at the facilities that they're getting pulled off of the border. And people say, well, wait, the government wants a monopoly of drugs so the big banks can launder it. They don't need the Border Patrol anymore. They, the CIA runs Los Cetas on record. That came out in yeah. federal court. They're there to enforce only narcotics coming in laundered by the big banks. Mm -hmm. See, they've Absolutely. already got their police force mm -hmm. internally. See, globalists get rid of the major borders, but then set up new secret borders. That's what Brzezinski talks about in subsects, subsectors. I mean, this is a scientific program. Oh, yeah. Yeah. People wonder what's going on. They say, how, how could this be happening? Look at the massive incompetence. It's not incompetence. They just don't understand what the purpose is behind it. They don't understand what the scheme is behind it, where they're going. This is planned and working. They came out with cruise missiles 45 years ago that could shoot down your chimney. The globalists are precision. Precision guided evil. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's begun and you can feel it. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is some good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality
Vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are...